Hey everyone, welcome to Post of Post. Thanks for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. If you knew my name is Neil, wow. Like just I am I'm in shock almost. I can believe it, but in the other like they had it. They were right there. They had the lead in the series again, and they blew it. What? Are we back? How are we back here again? Like seriously, this is a never-ending story. I feel like making a 30-minute video about it, like in the off-season, about what Toronto can do. Like that's that's what I feel like I should do. But my honest opinion is that I don't think they need to do anything. Like when I look at this loss, when I look at this team, it's not like before. I don't feel the same way. So like as a Canadians fan, hey, it's it's tough to wear this jersey, but I try to re remain objective on this channel and I'm also talking about the Leafs, so I decided to wear them. But last year, I, like obviously I'm happy that my Montreal Canadiens beat the Toronto Maple Leafs. Very happy. Uh, but this year, it's different because Toronto wasn't supposed to lose last year. They were embarrassed. It was a meme. Like, there was all kinds of memes. Lots of people memeing on Toronto. Okay? You had your goofs. You had your gaffes. You had your laughs. But this year's different. Like, it's not the, it's not the Boston collapse. It's not the Montreal collapse. This year's different. Like, this team, it, it just felt like a regular year, like a regular loss. There was nothing dramatic that happened. There was no insane collapse. Yeah, they came, they, you know, they, they held the, the lead in the series and they, they gave it up. But it's, it's not the same. There's no panic button that needs to get pressed here. But like a part of me still thinks that, oh my God, like they, they lost again. Let's make a 30 minute video and let's analyze it and figure out what they need to do in the future. Like that's that little part of me wants to do that. But like, what, like there's, what do you do? I don't think you do anything. Like I don't, I feel like you just kind of, you just kind of go with it. Maybe you can make some, some, some changes, but this Leafs seems this year, like, I don't like to praise the Leafs, as you guys know, as a Canadiens fan, but objectively, they were so better defensively, like so much better defensively. They showed resilience other than maybe a couple points in this game and maybe the the prior game, but the resiliency of the team overall was greatly improved. I thought they were more physical. I thought the Stars specifically were more physical. I thought that they, hmm, what's the best way to word this? I thought that they were impactful, but not as impactful as I thought that they would be. I, I picture Toronto scoring more goals, and a credit to uh, you know the Tampa Bay Lightning as well. They did a wonderful job, uh, specifically near the end of the game, of playing great defensive hockey in that third period. When I think Tampa Bay, and when you think Tampa Bay, you probably don't think a defensive team, you think a really good offensive team, but they really transitioned to a defensive style of system in the third period, and they did it very well. Toronto had their chances, but uh, Tampa Bay did a wonderful job keeping them to the outside. If the puck was along the boards, they tried to get it out immediately, or they wasted time again along the boards. So, uh, you know, kudos to, to, to Tampa. They fully deserve the win. That's why they're Stanley Cup champions two years in a row. They have that resiliency built into their blood. They didn't panic. They, they remained calm and they responded. And they just like, these are two teams that I don't necessarily like, and I'm having to praise both of them. It's a difficult video for me. I want to go back and, and just go through the games real quickly. Game one, Toronto won five, nothing. Game two, Tampa Bay won five, three. Game three, Toronto won five, two. Game four, Tampa Bay won seven, three. Game five, Toronto won four, three. Game six, Tampa Bay won four, three in overtime. And game seven, that just happened, Tampa Bay one, two, one. So there were some close games in there. There are some blowouts in there. But uh, as far, like, here's the thing. I need to show you guys this. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. I had a thumbnail literally created already for the, the Leafs eliminating Tampa. Like, I was ready. I was 100% ready to film the video and, and finally saying so many good things about Toronto. Like, listen, the pressure's off. You're going into round two. Like, let's do it. Like, what can happen? Like, the world is your oyster now. Like, you know what I mean? But I'm just looking at this like this this thumbnail, and it's I, I want to post it so bad. I want to make a video and put this thumbnail on it. I've got uh, I got a guy on the I think it's Kalorn, if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of small on my screen on a, on his jet ski with golf clubs in his hand. I've got Kucherov and I'm not sure who, that, who else that is in the actual photo. They're holding a Stanley Cup, but I put an L in there. They're taking the L, okay. And then I've got the and the other ones, the a bunch of them on their sea dudes driving driving. Do you drive a boat <laughs> away from? The arena or the ice surface and then Austin Matthews up above the skyline. Oh, you didn't think we could do it? We did it. Now listen, we're, we're going. You ain't going anywhere. And I can't use this, th this, this thumbnail. It's not going anywhere either. And I'm like, I was ready. Maple Leafs fans, I was ready. I was, I was cheering for the Leafs. I wanted them to win. I like the chaos of them not winning, but I wanted them to win. I wanted them to get over the hump, the Maple Leafs fans to get over that bridge. 
And I just, I feel so bad for Maple Leafs fans because I, I mean, I'll go back to a bit what I said earlier. There's no panic button. I don't think Leaf fans need to uh, throw their jersey on the ice or throw their jersey out the window. And I don't think the majority of fans feel that way, actually, because all the fans remained in the arena. They applauded the team. There was nothing thrown on the ice. It wasn't one of those years where they, they you know, they completely crapped the bed and fans were, were pissed. That's not what happened. Uh, they they remained extremely respectful, and I think a smart Maple Leafs fan would see this team objectively and think, let's not hit the panic button. This is a good group, a good core. It was a wonderful year. You took the remaining the the the, the Stanley Cup champions of the last two years to to Game Seven and almost like almost defeated them. That's a even though they didn't win, that's still a pretty monumental step forward. So I don't think there's a panic button, and that might seem crazy to say. Maybe there are some drastic changes you could make. Does Sheldon Keefe go? Does Kyle Dubas go? Do you, do you trade Mitch Marner? Like, I don't know. I, I just don't see it like that. I don't see this as a typical, tip, like a classic Toronto collapse. It was just they ran into a, an incredible team in the first round. And that's the, that's the crappy part about this entire system of the NHL playoffs now. In round one, so many good teams go home. And this was the perfect example of it. I got a couple notes I want to go through. I thought the refereeing was extremely inconsistent the entire series. There were games where they were calling everything by the book, and then other games where they weren't calling anything. Like, where's the where's the um, sorry, where's the standard? Where where's the bar? How do players know what's going to get called and what's not going to get called if you if you're constantly moving the bar and, and changing the standard? So frustrating. Regardless if you're a Leafs fan or a Tampa Bay Lightning fan frustrating. I saw a lot of uh, penalties that should have been called on Tampa tonight. I saw a lot of penalties on Toronto that should have been called tonight, and they weren't. And I just like, man, I just, it's just so frustrating. Just as a hockey fan, remove the teams, just the refing in general uh, has been really frustrating. But I don't blame the loss on the refs. I think that's an irresponsible thing to say because that's the easy thing to say. I think you, you have to look at the team and say, we, number one, we just weren't good enough. Well, we can't blame the refs. Yeah, things might have gone might have gone diff- a little bit differently if uh, something had been called. But at the end of the day, we couldn't get it done, and and that's that. I mean, that I mean, that's that. You couldn't get it done. So uh, I I don't blame the refs. I'm just I'm just frustrated. I'm just frustrated, and it's every year, regardless of, of what series that you can pick a handful of series every single playoffs, and it's ex- the exact same. So I just want consistency. Like, that's all I want. I just want consistency from NHL refs. That's it. If you're going to call everything, call everything. If you're not going to call anything, don't call anything. Don't do this. I can't take that, okay? I don't like the emotional roller coaster of it. I want consistency. I want to know what I'm going to expect. <sighs> Rant. Okay, uh, Brody on the second goal. I want to talk about that. So I think it was Paul that was coming in, and this this is this highly frustrated me. If I'm a Leafs fan and I look at that, I'm thinking, Brody, what are you doing? Take the body. You're, you're puck watching. Like you're looking at the puck in his feet and you're trying to get it. Take the body. If he takes the body, that's not a goal. And so I'm, I was really like, I don't know why I'm cheering. So I, like, I'm so upset that, that Toronto lost here, but it's so easy. Like take the body. That's You learn that in Pee Wee, okay? Stop puck watching. Take the body. That's not a goal. Simple as that. Factual. Uh, I thought Jack Campbell was was amazing most of the series. A couple of stinkers in some of the games, but I don't blame Jack Campbell. Uh, Vasilevsky, same thing, amazing. Specifically in the last two games, Vasilevsky was stellar, unbelievable. Uh, like I think I said this early, Toronto defensive game. Sorry, I just got some notes. The defensive game from Toronto was drastically improved this year. Uh, resilience of Tampa Bay, I did uh, mention that. Uh, Braden Point can injured, so kudos to Braden Point for coming out uh, after the injury and giving it a try. And kudos to to the, to the depth players of Tampa Bay uh, in every line, whether it's Perry or whether it's uh, Point, like I said, just coming out and trying to to do what he can and with through an injury. The, the the depth, the resilience, the the calmness of the team of the Tampa Bay Lightning team knowing that they're down in a series or potentially down in a game and know that they have the ability to come back almost at will like there's I I don't like Tampa as you guys know but I have to appreciate you know call a spade a spade they're amazing Tampa Bay is amazing and and basically every aspect of the ice so I'm incredibly impressed by that team for the third year 
I want them to lose. Sorry, Tampa Bay Lightning fans. I want them to lose. I think the majority of people do because the majority of people, number one, like to cheer for the underdog in the series, and number two, don't like repeat cup winners. They want to see something new. So a lot of people are cheering against the Tampa Bay Lightning, um, and but I think their fans probably like that at the same time. They they like being at the top of the hill. You know, that's that's a that's a nice place to be. But I, even though I want them to lose, I respect them so much, and I respect every player on the Tampa Bay Lightning. I respect the the staff, like the entire coaching staff. Uh, I respect the the management in general. Um, and yeah, I mean, they, the Tampa Bay Lightning have has some great fans as well. Toronto Maple Leafs have some great fans. There are some upset fans tonight. There are some happy fans tonight. Crazy, just a crazy series. I don't think I've missed anything on my list. Uh, just you know, I just kind of I clicked record. I made a couple of notes. I just wasn't planned. I just rambling. There's a game on right now, up up to the left. It's the Edmonton Oilers. It's the LA Kings. I'm gonna go watch this game seven to see who wins. What a weekend! One game seven done. Second game seven done. Third one underway. Two more tomorrow. Wow, what a great start to the NHL playoffs. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are and you want to talk more hockey with me, hit the subscribe button down below if you're new. I'm releasing videos every single day on the channel. As you longtime viewers know, that's my thing here. I release a video every single day the entire year. I've been doing it for going on year six, I think, year six. So it's uh, been quite a journey. Would love to have you on board to talk hockey, to talk anything to do with hockey. Would love to have you on board. Hope you guys are having fun watching hockey. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. I'll talk to you guys. I was going to say tonight, probably tomorrow, because I don't know what time this game's going to end. So I'll talk to you uh, tomorrow. And also, uh, obviously, uh, let me know down below in the comment section what do the Leafs need to do to uh, get over that hump next year. In Tampa Bay, you're running into the Florida Panthers for an epic rematch. How's that going to go? Let me know. All right. Have a great night, guys. Enjoy hockey. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.